Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World and welcome to a book haul. I love book hauls. I presume you love book hauls because you've clicked on this video. I have got a load of books that I have required recently and I want to share them with you because I'm really, really excited for them. So you'll have to let me know in the comment section if you've read any of them yet because I'm very excited and trying to order which ones to read first is always that difficulty, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna stop waffling, get started. The first three books I was very kindly sent for review, so hashtag ad gifted. Thank you very much to the British Library for sending me three new releases that came out rather recently. Um, two of which are part of the British Library Room Writers series, which I love and adore. Um, you can see where Henry is, there's some there next to Henry. Um, <laughs> it's ever growing. Um, I love this series of books so much. They're so good, so well picked. Um, so I was very excited for the two new releases that were coming out. And then as a surprise, I was also sent this book, this is Death of a Bookseller by Bernard J. Farmer and as you can see it's gold because this is the hundredth title that has been republished by the British Library. This book is celebrating the hundredth British Library crime classics and I am so excited to read this. This was a complete surprise, I didn't know I was going to receive this but oh wasn't I glad I did because I had this on my wish list so I'm very excited to read it. I believe it is about a uh, a book collector that kind of meets a policeman when he's a bit worse for wear because he's been celebrating acquiring a new book. And the policeman then ends up getting involved in this community and he starts collecting as well. But then the original collector, he ends up getting murdered and suspicion falls on other book collectors like the book collecting community. Doesn't it sound good? It sounds so, so good. And let's be honest, we all love books about books. So this is a book about books and I'm so excited to read this. So yes, so thank you British Library for sending me this. Complete surprise, but I'm so excited to read this. I have found some really good books from the British Library, Crying Classics. Mavis Dora Hay is my favorite, which I know some people um, have mixed feelings on her personally. I loved it. Um, so thank you British Library for that because very excited. And then the two other ones that I was sent from the British Library are both part of the British Library Room Writers series that I adore. So we have Strange Journey by Maud Cairns. <laughs> I, I asked Simon Thomas how you pronounce her surname and I think I've still got it wrong. It It's meant to rhyme with fair but with an N in it. That's what I've been <laughs> told. Sorry, Simon, I know I know you said how to pronounce it, and I'm so rubbish, um, so apologies. Uh, Strange Journey is from the 1930s, and it's a body swap novel. Very exciting. And then we have Keeping Up Appearances by Rose McCauley. When I think of Keeping Up Appearances, I do think of Hyacinth Bouquet. <laughs> this came first though, this is from the 1920s. This is Rose McCauley and the British Library Room Writers series have actually already reprinted a Rose McCauley. So it's so good to see that they're reprinting other works from the same authors. That's really great to see. And I'm very excited to read this one. I have no idea what this is about. Very, very excited for those three. Thank you very much again at British Library. The next two books I picked up because I had a voucher. Lucky me. And of course, when you have a voucher, you've got to spend it on books, haven't you? Uh, so first of all, I picked off Blue Stockings off my wish list. This is by Jessica Swale. And this is a play. I do really enjoy plays, actually. Blue Stockings, kind of what it says on the tin. So it's about women in education or women trying to achieve that kind of level of higher education at the early part of the 20th century, similar to men. And it's about women's rights. And, oh, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be really good. Um, Fingers crossed. I do enjoy reading plays. I haven't read one for quite a while, so we will see how I get on. And the other book that I got with that voucher is Silence in Court by Patricia Wentworth. This is another one of Patricia Wentworth's standalone novels. I read one rather recently, loved it, thought it was really good, and I was really excited to read this one. This sounds so good. Courtroom drama. Mm. 
Mm, says it all. Yes, please. I'll stop singing now. Then I picked up a book secondhand off eBay. I watched a like a documentary type thing on the history of Mills and Boom. Um, it was a very slow Saturday evening and I didn't realise how old Mills and Boom were. Um, I thought they were quite a modern thing. They're not. Um, and I started to look at some vintage Mills and Boom. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll give it a try, read some vintage ones, see how we get on. And on eBay, I saw this gorgeous edition. When are you from? 1946. Ready? Oh, look at this lovely cover. It's called I'll Surely Find You by Cicely Colpitz. Not sure if it's any good or not, but yeah, I wanted to give it a go um, and just see how I got on. So beautiful. Oh, I could just stare at the cover all day. Then my other half treated me to a book. And I, again, I wanted to pick one off my wish list. So I wanted to pick up Fortnight in September by R.C. Sheriff. And they'd have it in Persephone books. They have a Persephone edition. The, um, the kind of this one, which is like the... Um, so it's like the coloured background with a picture behind it rather than the in the grey. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll get that one. And then I saw this edition and I was like, yes, please. So I think this is the American edition. Yeah, it says $16 US or 22 from Canada. Um, so I think this is an American cover, but I thought it was so nice. And not to be horrible to Persephone, but I did prefer this over the Persephone book cover. So I treated myself to this. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to read it. I'm not sure whether I should wait for really nice warm weather and read it then. When are you originally from? Um, 1931, originally published. So yeah, I will wait and see. Uh, at the moment I'm putting it off because this cover makes me think I need to read it when it's warm. <laughs> so looking forward to reading that with warm weather. And then last but not least for this haul, um, I got a book because this has got a little story to it. So my local independent bookshop on their social media put that they had sadly had their first known um, theft in the shop where a person with their child stole items and when I heard about that I got really really upset because it's a small little shop and it's quite in the heart of the community and yeah I could tell how disappointed they were and you know for independent bookshops to survive they're not going to survive with theft so yeah it's very sad um, and I said to myself, next time I'm there, I'm going to get a book. And uh, luckily they had this book, which is on my wish list. So I was very happy to see it. This is The Feast. It's by Margaret Kennedy. It has recently been republished in this lovely, gorgeous edition. It's quite big um, for Margaret Kennedy. I've read... How many Margaret Kennedys have I read? Have I read one? Two? I think I've read one. I think I've read one, but I own quite a few. Um, originally from 1950. I'm not sure what it's about, to be honest. <laughs> but I've heard lots of people rave about it. So I thought, you know what, I will give it a go because it's Margaret Kennedy. And um, I really enjoyed the one that I have read of hers. And uh, it's good to support your independent bookshops. So there we go. There we have it. That is my book haul. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books. Um, let me know what books you have been buying recently and I shall see you very, very soon for my next video. Take care for now. Bye.